in step two of an SEM analysis using WAR PLS, I will read a raw data file. The raw data file can be in TXT format, XLX format, or XLXX, the new uh, Excel formats. And I choose the files that I see, or all files, down here on this screen. Uh, this shows me all of the files. I will see only, I'll check only the X, XLSX file. So once I define the file that I'm going to use, I can select it and open. If it is an Excel file, an Excel may have multiple sheets in a workbook or only one. If you have only one, that's the one with the data that Warp PLS will open. If you have multiple sheets, it's going to be the first. The first sheet on the left, or the first sheet of the workbook, will be the one open. I will then just open uh, the file. And in doing that, that I will be shown, I will be taken to this file import wizard. This option here, generate MATLAB code, is not used for Warp PLS at all. Some advanced users of MATLAB may want to use this option, uh, but currently there is no support for it yet. It's, it's, an, it's a very technical uh, option that some programmers may use. So essentially, uh, uh, most users will, when they get to this import wizard, they will just click on Next and Finish. And then the software will show the data in uh, tabular formats. And the user then can scroll and browse through the entire data set that was read just to make sure that there are no problems with it. Missing values are accepted, and they are shown as NAN cells. There are none here. Uh, the NAN means not a number. Um, and what WAR PLS does later on with those files is it automatically replaces them with the mean of each one of the columns, which is a standard, probably the most widely used approach for handling missing data. Users can uh, change, can, can, can uh, process and change missing data uh, and manipulate their uh, original files before they are read by WARP PLS. So if users want a different approach for handling missing data, they can do that with Excel before it's read by WARP PLS. This concludes this demo on step two.